Hey, Thomas from Field Tennis. The first rule as a YouTuber, always keep your camera and your racket with you. So today I'm again outside in the nature. Slovenian people will of course recognize the background. And I will record one video for you today. Again, based on the questions I received, I don't need the court to show you the answer, but I do need the racket. So this is the question. It's about what grip should I use when I'm waiting for the serve? So on the return of the serve, what grip should I use? So I will read it to you and I'll put the question also on the screen. So when waiting, for, when waiting to return serve, should the grip you wait be your forehand grip? So shifting to the backhand grip with the aid of your left hand if the ball comes to the backhand. Or B, your backhand grip because more serves are hit to my weaker side. So shifting to the forehand grip if the ball comes to the forehand. Or continental grip while planning to shift to a forehand grip or shift to a backhand grip once you realize which side the serve is coming. Alright, so I know you would like a straight answer but I can't give you a straight answer because all of your ideas are right. If you observe the pros on the Pro Tour, they're going to do all three ideas that you're describing. So let's start with the forehand. So for most, most players, they have the forehand grip already in the ready position and they are most used to shifting to the backhand grip. So this applies especially to one-handed backhand players, but also two-handed backhand players they tend to hold the forehand grip in the ready position. So even when playing on the baseline, they're used to shifting to the backhand. So <clears throat> then it's the best to do that also on your serve because you are used to shifting to backhand. So you're not really shifting to forehand very quickly. So if I'm playing on the baseline and I shift to backhand, I hit the backhand, then I go back to ready position. I have a lot of time to find my forehand grip. So I'm not used to, me personally, for example, I'm a right-hander and I prefer the forehand. And I hold the forehand grip in my ready position. So I'm only used to shifting to backhand. So if you ask me, hold backhand in the ready position and shift to forehand, I might not find my perfect grip. So if you're used to forehand and you hold your forehand grip in your ready position, then it should be no problem for you to find the backhand grip on the return. So the pro of this option, so option A, what is the pro, is that you're already used to shifting and you can do it very quickly. And another thing is that you're, if you play backhand slice, you're also used to shifting to slice. So you have a forehand grip and you go to slice, you know how to, how to find this grip. Or if you go to backhand topspin drive, you know how to find this grip. So in most cases, that's what would be the best for you. So option B, hold backhand, because most of my shots, most of the serves go to the backhand side. I've done that a few times when I played servers that really played, served most of the times to my backhand. But I knew that I'm risking a little bit because like waiting on the backhand and shifting to forehand was not so natural to me. So what I would tend to do if I was waiting on the backhand it would work and I would hit 80% backhand returns and I was already ready. So that can work. What troubled me personally, what can trouble you is you, you don't find really the forehand grip when you prepare quickly. But you may find easier the continental grip. So if you're here, there's less of a shift and then you can just block or slice the forehand return if it comes. So again, that's an option too. There are some players, they're always waiting in the backhand grip and then they shift to forehand. So just be aware that if you're used to shifting from forehand to backhand, you might not be used to shifting from backhand to forehand and you might not find a good grip when there's a fast serve. So that's the pro and con that you understand uh, what could be the problems and what are the benefits. I would like to point out one more thing here is that when players wait in their backhand grip, their ready position is way different than when they wait in the forehand grip. So your opponent, if they're experienced, they will see in which grip you're waiting for the serve because this is waiting 
in the forehand grip you see the hand is like this when the hand is comfortable then forehand grip is like this I can't wait in the back and grip with this racket position you see so forehand grip is very comfortable back and grip is not comfortable here so players who wait in the back and grip they have to lower the racket head and they're more like here so this is comfortable so if I go here with the forehand grip for this racket head position I'm not comfortable as you can see so this is comfortable for forehand grip and this is comfortable for back and grip so even at the distance of the whole court it's very obvious which grip your opponent is waiting in. And so if you know that, then you can try and surprise them. So I sometimes did that when I saw players waiting in their backhand grip, I would serve more to their forehands, forcing them to shift the grip. So be aware that it's uh, very obvious in which grip you're waiting for the serve, so unless you're continental. So, which brings us to the C point, like your point, okay, why don't I wait in the continental, like kind of a neutral grip, and then I always shift, okay, forehand I shift, backhand I shift. There's less of a shift, of course, it's very small shift from continental to backhand, and small shift from continental to forehand. So, the, the con of this uh, approach is that you always have to shift, unless you block or slice, so... If you're expecting a very fast serve, you can wait in continental and you also mentally prepare that in any case you're going to block or slice the serve, then it's going to work. Then you have to see how skilled you are with shifting grips. If you are skilled and you can always find the grip very quickly, then go for it. But I would recommend this only to higher level players that you know, have been playing many years and they can feel the racket really well in their hands. So maybe for O and higher level players, I would recommend to them to try this option. If you just suggest this to the beginner or lower intermediate player, they will not find the right grip very quickly when they shift from continental to forehand or continental to backhand. So these are the pros and cons of these options. So just to summarize, forehand, yes. Backhand, yes. Neutral, yes. There's no real rule. For one is you have to see what suits you, what is your preferred style of play. And then sometimes in the match you can tactically adjust a little bit, but just that you're aware of the negative consequences. So what are the cons if, if I'm waiting on the backhand, I might not find the forehand. Am I statistically doing well that I'm hitting 80% backhand and I really have the grip ready? And for those 20 I block the forehand? Probably yes, but you have to see how the match goes and where are the serves going. So thanks for watching and bye bye from lovely Slovenia.